Okay, so we're we're looking at a loophole scope here. This is the uh, one, two. Mark, Mark 6, 3 to 18 by 44. Okay. Mark 6, 3 to 18 by 44. Yep. Scope. And what is important about this from a tactical combat point of view? From a combat point of view, part of it is the fact that it's a first focal point scope, which means when you mill it, it's actually accurate. As opposed to the second focal plane scope where it's on full power, you're good. Anything right. other than that, you're So front focal plane, front focal plane, first focal, first focal plane. Yep. Okay. The second is the fact that they're using a Horus H59 reticle with wind dots in it. Okay. Which is a very, very accurate reticle. And it's a gridded reticle. Right? Okay. It's not a ballistic reticle, so what you actually shoot is holdovers with this. It's very fast, it's very accurate, and it gives you the ability to call wind without actually having to use a spot. Uh, huh. It's a very ruggedized scope. One of the other nice things is that it is 3 to 18 power in a very small package. I want to say this is only a 9 inch scope. It's, 12, uh, it's under 12 inches. Yeah, 9, 10 inch scope. So you have a lot of magnification in a very, very small package for this. So what range is, what's the range envelope in this in terms of combat? How far you can shoot out? How far, how close, how far, what's the... What's the it comes down to what you're shooting. The nice thing about this is it's not, this scope doesn't have to stay on a 5.56 platform, 7.62, 300 Win Mag, 3.38. You can shoot it as far up as you want. Because of the reticle in this, all you have to do is change out your ballistic program in your ATRAD computer, and it gives you the exact hold that you need to shoot what you want to shoot. Right, but ideally, what combat application is this scope? So, so really it transcends uh, many uh, weapons platforms versus yep. some of the other scopes that are made specifically for one weapon. Right, but you wouldn't the, want to use this for, let's say, CQB, would you? You, you will, you with the addition of, a, of a, say, a, a mini red dot. You absolutely yep. could. And at three power, you can back it down. You can use all your complete suite of uh, night vision thermal uh, sights, clip-ons. And you can. And at 18 power, you got positive identity. Even if you can't shoot beyond the 18 power, you, do you need 18 power to shoot a 5.56 gun? No, but you get a positive ID on a target out to well beyond 1,000 meters. Right. So you can identify the threat well before you see them. Right, and, or you can stick and, this and on an M110 uh, carbine or whatever. Exactly. And, uh, you can use it for offensive uh, you know, and defensive capabilities. Right. Uh, uh, actual target acquisition. 762 by 51 millimeter as well. Uh, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. And because of the length, you, and you can use it on multiple weapons platforms, on those platforms you can still use your night vision and thermal can you stop playing rail space and then it has it has other features that end users want uh, auto locking turrets zero stop uh, zero, what's the importance of the zero stop so you when you set your zero and if you get lost in your turns you can always dial it back to zero and start again okay. it's got positive clicks or clunks every 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 tenth mil and then every five mils has got a positive clunk. So at night you can you can do quick five ten. And you don't have to count one two three four five. You can, you can do it a lot faster. Very cool. So it's a Mark six three to eighteen by forty four by forty four. Uh, thirty four millimeter main tube. Thirty four millimeter main tube. All right. This is loophole tactical optics, and you are watching DefenseReview.com. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you.